What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beer's Garage and on today's episode we're going to be slapping on this new Duromax 999cc engine on a kid suspension go-kart. Now if you haven't heard of this engine this is the king of go-kart engines. This thing makes 58 foot-pounds of torque and 35 horsepower. To put that in perspective a V-twin from Harbor Freight only makes about 22 horsepower and about 30 to 35 foot-pounds of torque. So this is, engine is almost as if you took a Predator 670 and fully built it and it makes it stock. So that means we should be able to successfully get over 100 foot-pounds of torque in a later video with performance mods. But for today, we're gonna build a swing arm to slap this on this Manco Kids go-kart. Now this engine does not belong on this go-kart. It has a really crude suspension set up, but it's gonna be awesome to put this much power on something that small. So first, we're gonna build out the whole swing arm, get the jack shaft set up for the massive Comet pulleys we had to use on this. Duro Max was a couple of sweethearts and they sent us out some Comet pulleys that was made for a massive concrete trowel. That's the only thing I could find that would fit this crankshaft and handle this kind of power. So let's get right into it. We're going to build the whole swing arm first starting with the jack shaft system. Then we can pull the go-kart in in the next episode and get it all mounted up. All right, so we got the jack shaft plate all made up. This is just like I shown uh, two Go Power Sports plates. And I basically cut one in half, welded it to this, and then grinded the seam down so it's smooth. And then I welded it on both sides as well, so this is super strong. And then I used that cutoff part to make this jack shaft plate. So basically, this is a one-inch live axle, two one-inch live axle bearings. So this is super strong. We'll never really bend that. We don't need another axle bearing i know some people will think we need to put one out here but there's no way we're going to bend this because there's no shaft showing so it's really i mean it'd be super hard to bend that uh, and then we'll have a double 420 sprocket out here i don't want to run 530 or something large like that because the sprocket has to be so huge to get the right gearing so what i'm going to do is machine up two uh i think 14 teeth sprockets and tig weld them together on one hub one wide hub so we got a big key in here and then we'll do double sprockets on our axle as well. That'll just allow the power that this engine is gonna make to be able to get to the axle safely. We can start coming up with our swing arm setup. Now I have this one and a half inch piece of uh, tube that's been bent. This was for a random project, I don't know what, and it was a mess up. So I think we can use that to make our base set up for our, our whole swing arm. So I'm gonna get it clamped up on the table. We can set the engine in, make sure we get everything positioned right do the right rise to our engine plate for uh, chain clearance and then start building this thing up.
all right so here's the setup uh we haven't built the little extensions because i don't know how wide my axle is going to be and those have to be for the width that the tires are going to run so we'll do that at a later time but you can see the whole setup this is not how close the jack shaft is going to be to the engine so we don't have to worry about the chain uh, but this axle will also be cut down so you can get the idea of how it's going to be nothing's fully welded it's just all tacked we also need to run down to the local rule king and buy a trailer hitch because we're going to weld up a receiver on this and we're going to see if this engine which it should traction will be our only issue we'll pull my truck up the driveway or through the field or something so i haven't got the drive pulley on i need to go get a 5 8 fine thread bolt long enough for that cvt set up and by the way this is a comet 1190 series cvt off a of concrete trowel set up like a ride on trowel so it's made for a ton of power uh rated for 100 horsepower so uh yeah so i'm gonna get everything welded out i'm gonna weld out the engine plate weld these tubes get what i got done right now welded out and then we can go measure for our axle width and get the extensions axle hangers and everything on and brakes and then we'll be good to slam it on the go-kart in the next episode All right, so normally this is, would be where I would build my extensions out here to support uh, this exposed piece of axle because we've bent plenty of those. But I think what I'm going to do is leave it sticking out like this. If we bend it, uh, which we shouldn't, we're not going to beat the crap out of it. Well, we'll see. But if we do bend it, we'll just swap it out with a new axle. But we're going to do dually tires on the uh, on a later episode. So I don't want to build these portals because that would block us from having dual tires out here so we're gonna leave it just like this i'm gonna weld these axle hangers solid and then we got to weld the underside of everything because it's not been done yet then we can measure what the distance between the pivot points are on the chassis so we can match that with this and uh, we can get this ready to put on all we got to do now is uh, after welding that stuff out and adding the pivot point i'm going to cut these tubes off the back we're going to put a towing hitch on it and then we just got to mount up the brakes and the swing arm's done So we got everything mounted up on the swing arm. I'm actually waiting on some chain links to get here and it looks like we're gonna have to run a small engine riser. Uh, that sprocket's awfully close to that. And that's one of those things I didn't think the sprocket would be that close to the side cover, but it sticks out pretty far. So what we'll do with that is just do some rectangle tubing and put a, a piece in front and rear to raise the engine about probably an inch and a half so we get good chain clearance. Everything's pretty much done other than the brake setup. We'll show you how we do it on the next episode. We're gonna do two calipers. One's gonna be hooked to the pedal because this will eventually have front brakes on it. And then we'll have a secondary caliper that's on the e-brake so we can rip the e-brake. So belt's not tension or anything. I need to get a bolt for the uh, crankshaft. It's a large 5 8 fine thread. So I need to get like a two and a half inch, three inch long bolt for that. But uh, that's pretty much the swing arm setup. Super basic, and we'll do the job until we build the chassis for this engine. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, why are we wasting our efforts on a simple suspension like this? And the reason for that is, is to get content to you guys faster than doing a whole chassis build because we got too many of those going on right now. So this is something real quick. This took about a day to build. So now we can start modifying the frame to accept this 
and uh, it's real quick to do this and then we got an extra swing arm laying around that we can switch over to a 780 series and use a 420 on or something like that so this is not going to waste but it's something to get you guys content so make sure to check out the links in the video description for this engine all the parts we use on this swing arm build uh, this is how i like to build them i've done them out of rectangle tubing it's actually a little easier doing them out of rectangle you can get a lot more bracing like that in my opinion but i wanted to do this out round because i had that spare piece of hoop but uh, make sure to check out those links next episode we'll be putting it onto this cart right here building the back section and uh riding it very soon because we're doing the bare minimum to get this thing going and we're going to see if it'll pull my truck across the field should have the torque to do it and we got it geared at a decent gearing ratio so should do it so thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys and we can't wait to see this thing roaring we'll see you on the next one god bless